Welcome back to Sports Talk ATL. I am Chase Earl, joined by Jake Gordon and Alex Lord. I was rolling through Twitter yesterday, and I saw some SEC win totals for the 2023 season. So I thought we'd go through them and give our over-unders for each SEC team. And we can start with the reigning national champion, Georgia Bulldogs, whose win total is set at 11 and a half, which basically means, are they going to go undefeated? And I have to say, yes. I don't like I, yep. Their schedule is terrible. The only game I see them possibly losing is at Tennessee. I, I do think that place is going to be rowdy. I think Joe Milton and Josh Heupel are going to be good this year. Uh, but I still like if I were like that's really what I'm betting on. Can they win? I don't. Tennessee? But uh, for for the record, uh, full stop. <laughs> it's really hard to win. I guess that'll be what 29 games in a row, or no, it'll be yeah, 29 games in a row. That's that's a lot. Uh, so it is hard to win, years. but not when you look at that schedule. Like, yeah, that schedule yeah. is it's so just, easy, it's and not, it's no fault to Georgia. Let me just yeah, say this: I'm not. an LSU alum. You know, I, I I don't like Georgia as much as the next non-UGA fan. But it's not like UGA went out and made the SEC East terrible. It's up to the they SEC also, East. They also yeah. tried – they also had Oklahoma, and Oklahoma got yeah. cut off because they're coming yeah. to the SEC. But also, it, if you're mad about Georgia's schedule, my recommendation, get better. Yeah, get yeah, – it's always yeah. the SEC get East better. guys who are, like, yeah. talking from down. They're, they're here, and they're like – And they play the get same back. Yeah, it's like you are the reason why the schedule is easy. Yeah. You are terrible. And, uh, and, so, I, and I said also, this. Uh, real quick, shameless plug. Me and Larson are going to go through every Power 5 conference. We're going to do every over-under for every team and give best bets. Look out for that series on the YouTube at the Sports Talk ATO YouTube. Anyways, continue. Yeah, uh, well, I want to say the thing about the Oklahoma. Like, do we really need to see Georgia go out and beat a crap yeah. team by 60? Like, that wouldn't It'll be the same result as that last year. Oklahoma's got game. a nine-and-a-half projected win total. I mean, they're, they're projected. I think they're the second-best odds to win the Big 12. Do I think they're going to win it? No, but, I mean, it's in Norman, too. Like, that's still a respectable game. Yeah. It is well, a respectable I, I, listen, game. Listen, I don't what care. Chase is like, saying, what Chase is saying is, like, you're they had no still going to stop them. Yeah. They had no chance of winning. It would have no. been Oregon. All right, we're getting off top. We're we're getting way off topic here. Let's let's keep it moving. No, that's part. But yes, of, that's... I'll I will take the over on Georgia. Alabama yeah, ten and a half. I'll take under. The under. Uh, under. I'm gonna go under. I think they win ten exactly. I'll Me take too. the under. They'll lose two games. LSU nine and a half. I'm going over. Over. But I'm also. An I'll LSU take the fan. over. I'll take the over on LSU as well. I don't know. They could slip up. Uh, yeah. I'll, I mean, I'll they 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 can even if they lost games. to Florida State and Alabama, they're still over. Yeah, and I think they win one of those games. Tennessee nine, I'll take the over. I'll under, the under. I, I see him at nine and a half. I'm taking the under. They're not. I don't know games. why everybody's so in love with Joe Milton. I mean, he's got the the tangibles. He's not good. But like he's not that good. I don't think he's he's good we'll enough. See. And I'm more in love with Josh Heupel in that offense. Yeah. What what are, what order? This will tell a lot. It's just highest to lowest. Yes. Yeah, this will tell okay. us a lot about Josh Heupel and if he's the real deal. Um, Texas A&M seven and a half. Uh, over. I feel like they finished like right at seven or eight, so I probably wouldn't touch that. But I, I think eight. over. They're gonna go I'll eight and four. Over. They're gonna go. I feel eight like they're just again. one of those teams that like goes six and six, and then nine and three, and then everyone's like hypes them up to be national champions, and then no, they, they go, go six, six and six, six again. Yeah, like, <laughs> this is their thing. This is how Jimbo sticks around there and gets like a eighty million dollar extension. It's like we finished number five. Jimbo's great. Let's go, <laughs> and then we're going six and six next year. He's gonna get another extension after this year. Watch. It's just it's crazy. Uh, Mississippi seven and a half under. Oh, I'm gonna go under on this one as well. I'm a little bearish on Ole Miss this year, unfortunately. I like Jackson Dart, but I'm, I'm I like I sure. like Jackson Dart. I like also Jackson Ole Miss. Dart. Ole Miss is uh, SEC East game. They go to Athens, so they're not getting any help there. Ooh, I didn't know that. Here is one that I love. Might be my favorite bet of all of them. Auburn six and a half. I'm going over. Over. I kind of like. See, they over. burned me last year, but I feel like the over. It's it's always when nobody's expecting Auburn. It's when they show up. And I like. Up, I and like. Up. Listen, I don't know. I uh, Hugh Freeze the person. Whatever. Hugh Freeze the coach is legit. And I, you saw what Brian Kelly could do if you get a good coach in there with transfers and stuff like that. You can turn it around quickly. Now, do I think they're going to win the SEC West? No, but can they win six and a half games? I mean, look, LSU was six and a half last year, and they did win the SEC West. So I had that as well. I told I was a, I was a longtime LSU believer. Listen, yeah. listen. No, in terms of underachieving SEC teams, nobody gets more financial support than Auburn. Uh, yeah. They're going to be back. And Don't they're so tough to beat at home, even when they're back. Oh, yeah. Jordan Hare is spooky. Yeah. Uh, Florida, five and a half. I'm going. Oh, geez, under. Five under. and a half, man. Billy Napier. People were telling me Billy Napier. <laughs> what a terrible hire. 
<laughs> I'm gonna say I'm gonna say over. I think they win six. I think they go six and six. Oh. Uh, I'll say over. I think they go six and six too. They're in the SEC East. They could win some games. Mississippi State six and a half. That is an under. under, 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 under what are we doing under, here? What this are we is doing one of my here? favorite bets. This is one of my favorite bets. RIP under. Mike Leach, but that that's not yeah. going to be a good situation. This Way poor under. guy. This poor guy. I don't even know who is what his name is that took over for Mike Leach. Is just lamb to slaughter. I mean, yeah. this poor I mean, guy doesn't deserve a, rough, a head coaching job in the SEC. What are we doing? That here? is a rough situation. That is a yeah. rough situation. I mean, to me, they they seem like a team that might just win like three or four games. But who knows? Uh, then we got Arkansas seven and a half. I think under. That's a, that's another stinker. Uh, I, I I would say over. I think they'll go eight and four. I like Sam Pittman, so I'm going to go with the eight and four as well. I, I just do, like Sam I Pittman. do like Sam he's a, Pittman. I he's a like hog. Pittman, but I feel like you're betting on him to go eight and four. Like, I don't think he, they do any better than that. Which, yeah, like, they could I, I go agree. eight and four. But it's like, I like, if I were going to, like, bet on these, like, I would want to pick teams where I think they're going to go like two games over or something like that. Oh, um, no, 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 no. We haven't even gotten to the best value on the board. The most fun bet of the year, but we'll get to that. Vandy we'll to three and a half. Vandy three and a half. Baby. That's you're over. Gonna know in the fir- you're going to know in the first four weeks if this bad. That's is over. Really Vandy Hawaii, was winning five. They went five and seven last year. Exactly. Yeah, no, I bet them last year. It was only two and a half last they're, year. Now they're up to three and a half. They're moving up in the world. But Hawaii, going, Alabama, A&M. Wake Forest, that's and disrespectful. UNLV, Vandy or no. Vandy over. I'm Vandy. with you there. Easiest favorite bet on the board. I absolutely love Vandy. I'm going to bet Vandy win total every year. South Carolina yeah. six and a half. I'm over. Over. I agree. I'm on. I'm on board with South Carolina. There. I like Beamer. Mm, I like Shane. I Beamer. like Beamer. I don't I, love Spencer no, Rattler. I like Beamer. I, I I cannot stand Spencer Rattler, and I think he's gonna. He won't even get drafted, and if he does, he'll flame out in an instant. Oh, he'll get drafted because they all, all every see, quarterback gets drafted. See, the problem with that is last year they only hit their win total because they came out and beat Clemson and Tennessee, and I'm just not sure they're gonna do that again. What they won like nine games last year. Their win total was eight and a half. Yeah. That's two games I just listed that they're probably not going to win again. But they're only six and a half this year. That's kind of crazy. I like Shane Beamer. Yeah. I'm going Missouri with six and a half. Missouri six and a half. Under. I'll go. I'll go over. Under. Miz- over I actually, I'm, I'm buying Missouri. I'll go over. Under. I think they're Missouri's a scrappy the bunch, up. and they have a good defense every year. And Drinkowitz is a decent coach. Uh, I'll have to look at their schedule, but gut gut reaction. It's kind of funny that I've I think I've said over on every SEC East team, and there's no <laughs> it way can't that happen. It can't happen. <laughs> like, someone's got to be crap. All right, here we go. Kentucky, Kentucky. Might under, be Kentucky. under, under, Kentucky. Yeah. I think Stoops is so. I think Stoops is overrated. I don't like him as a head coach. I think he's. I think he's overrated. Kentucky's. They're gonna flame out, thinking they're a football school now. Uh, did we? Is that all of them? I think we did. Maybe. All of them. Uh, yeah. So me and Larson are actually. We're, we're gonna. We're gonna crunch the numbers. Uh, Larson is. Uh, Larson does a lot of data analysis, deep dive stuff like that. And we always talk about the schedules and stuff like that. So tune in for that. But yeah, the SEC is tough to predict this year. All these totals feel like they're like just extremely is there any, close. Is there any national championship odds that like pop out to you? I mean, I, mean I, I, I just take I, Georgia. I mean, just I take Georgia. Better. You got plus. I think it, I think it would be so electric if they offered a win total that was like Georgia over 14 and a half wins for the whole season. And it was boosted to like plus 210. I'd have to I'd have to put the house on that. I mean, that's basically the national championship almost. It'd probably be even less. No, it is. It's 15 and 0. 14, over 14 and a half wins. Um, They'd be fun. Yeah, I mean, I like there's nothing here that stands out. I really think there's only three teams that can win it. It's Georgia, Alabama and LSU. And I don't like any of those like for what value they bring. I mean, maybe Georgia plus 100. I'd probably do that. I'd probably do that. We'll see. I mean, they, they're they definitely, they're definitely going to win it. But that wraps up our show. Thank you guys for joining us. We'll be back next week.